What's up everybody, Will Borza here, the LA Recordist. I'm gonna change up the format a little bit today, a little more fast-paced, a little more to the point. I'm gonna teach you something. How to compress audio perfectly every time. Basically, I'm teaching you how to listen to your compressor rather than just leaving it on the default or using a preset. Now, every compressor worth its weight in salt, that's how they say it, right? Worth its weight in salt? Every compressor worth its weight in salt has four main parameters, attack, release, ratio, and threshold. So what do we do with these four things? Start with this. Take the release, drag it all the way as fast as it can go. Set it against the wall as fast as it can go. Second, take the attack, make it as long as it can go. Third, take the ratio, crank it up to about 10 to one, something really hard. Lastly, once you have those three set, while playing back your audio, take the threshold and dial it in so that you see the knob hitting about minus eight decibels of compression. If you have a VU meter, about minus eight. If you just have a bar, about minus eight. Either way. Okay, what have we done here? Basically, what I'm setting you up for is to be able to listen to each one of those four parameters individually. So the first thing we can touch is the attack. Now that we have eight decibels of compression, take that attack knob and start turning it faster and faster and faster. What I want you to listen for is the beginning of notes. As soon as the compressor starts catching the beginning of notes, and trust me, you'll be able to hear it, the compressor will actually catch the beginning of your notes at a specific time. That is the proper attack time. Next, now that you have the proper attack time set in, let's mess with the release. Now listen for the end of the notes. Start moving the release just a little slower, little slower, little slower. At some point you will hear the compressor releasing the audio perfectly. Now, with attack and release set, now we can focus on the ratio. So what exactly is the ratio? The ratio is basically how much do you want things compressed? Well, you can kind of think of it like a lens. What you're looking at, this picture right here, this is a very small ratio. This is maybe two to one. However, if I do this, now me and the background are basically at the same level. This right here is more like eight to one. You probably want something in the middle. If you're not sure, four to one is usually safe. Lastly, with attack, release, and ratio all set, all that's left is your threshold. At this point, you can move the threshold freely and you have the right parameters everywhere else. So all you're doing with the threshold is determining how much compression you want. How much of the compression effect, which is perfect, do you want to add to your sound? A little bit of compression or a whole lot of compression? Either way, you know that your compression is going to be right. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, write me a comment or send me a message. I'd love to get back to you. If you have any other questions that don't have to do with compression, maybe other things, ask me those too. I love to help. Anyway, my name is Will Borza. I'm the Ella Recordist. I'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early. Peace.